Runners will lace up their shoes and hit the streets of San Francisco this weekend. The San Francisco Marathon is back on track, being held in July after the pandemic postponed last year's race to the fall. KTV's Janet Katsuyama joining us live tonight from the Marathon Expo at Fort Mason with more on some of the changes participants can expect this year. Janet. Alex, there's a lot of excitement here today as people came to the expo. Organizers say this is the 45th anniversary of the event. They were very excited that they could bring it back to July, and they say that they have expanded it to become more inclusive. The San Francisco Marathon is not only back, it's bigger than ever. On Friday, thousands came to pick up their race bags at Fort Mason's Festival Pavilion. San Francisco is special because the route, they have a lot of uphills. So I think it's going to be super challenge. Organizers say it's a good feeling to celebrate after the pandemic forced them to scale back last year's race. Just glad to be uh, back in full force on our 45th anniversary. New this year are more inclusive races. The marathon will be the first in California to have male, female and non-binary categories. Just giving everybody a chance, regardless of what you affiliate yourself as, just knowing that it's a safe place to be and that we're happy and excited for you to have be there. Also exciting for young runners, a new 1K family lollipop run. Well, I think it's great to get kids involved. I think physical fitness is great for mental and physical overall wellness. The marathon is also partnering with a sponsor, Degree, to include a special team of runners with disabilities. I was diagnosed in third grade and I lost my sight at 30. Michael Zampella from Philadelphia is on the team with a woman from Houston who has multiple sclerosis. We work at so hard just to do basic things. So to do something extra like a marathon is just crazy difficult, but so worth it. Vendors say they're glad to be back and running has become more popular than ever. There are more and more runners because people weren't going to gyms and so, right? And so running shoe sales are booming during the pandemic. Still, some people say they don't want to run the risk of catching COVID, so they'll be bringing a mask to the starting line. I am a little bit worried about COVID still. It's going to be about maybe 30 minutes of just standing around in a barely big crowd. Organizers say masks are not required this year on the course. They do say they have nearly 24,000 runners who are registered. 31 of them have registered as non-binary. The events begin tomorrow morning at 7.30 with the big marathon at 5.30 on Sunday. So watch out for the streets. There will, will be probably yeah. some of those street closures and large crowds. Alex. Yeah, it's going to be tough to get around the city, but it should be a beautiful weekend for the marathon. Jenna Katsiava, live in San Francisco. Thank you.